This is a Rogue Media Network podcast. Benjamin Betts. Uh. Ben- uh, Benjamin. Yeah. It's Benjamin all about Betts. the Benjamin Betts, uh. baby. You know what's up? Yes, it's Benjamin Betts, baby. Uh. <laughs> all right, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to the special edition Benjamin Betts episode. Esports, League of Legends. That's what's going on. We got our world championships uh happening here this weekend starts tomorrow uh at midnight or one o'clock in the morning it's happening in korea uh jared and i we're i'm not gonna lie we're gonna admit something we we recorded a pretty cool episode <laughs> last night and uh we forgot to hit record so you know it just lost in the lost in the ether but you know what i'm gonna do a little recap and we're gonna get our bets in here um esports betting A little different than our traditional football betting that we do every week, Uh, but similar in how you place your bets and spreads and over-unders. They got that in League of Legends. So uh, we're going to just run through this. There's eight games happening Thursday. We're going to give – I'm going to run through our picks, uh, who we think uh, is favored, over-unders, things like that. And then we'll come back next week. We'll recap. There will be games happening Thursday, Friday, Saturday. But then next week, we'll, we'll kind of do a, a recap of what games happen and then the ones moving forward, and we'll give our picks for that. So without further ado, we're going to dive in to League of Legends, World Championships, Benjamin Betts betting. And right off the bat, we got uh, SKT out of Korea has been a legendary team for a long time. They're amazing. Uh, they're playing Team Liquid, who's from North America. And if you follow League of Legends, you know this. If you haven't followed League of Legends, it, it's a global sport. So there's teams from Korea, China, North America, Europe, uh, all over. So, uh, But regionally, League of Legends is like the best teams are from Korea and China. So the NA teams never show up. Uh, they are a huge underdog in this first match here. Uh, so we are taking SKT in this match. Um, they have a 10 and a half point spread on this. And that's when you have a spread with League of Legends, it's based on kills. So in these matches, there's kills that happen. Uh, but then there's an objective that has to be done for the team to win. So, but we're taking SKT minus 10 and a half. It's a lot of kills, but there's a lot of kills that happen in these games. So SKT uh, taking that one. We move on to the next game. It's actually a pretty close match. Cloud9, another NA team versus Mad Lions. They're a European squad. This is a this is a pick 'em. This is even line here. We're going Mad Lions plus four and a half. So they can lose this match, but as long as they're within four uh, four kills, then everything is good. So that is what we're looking at here uh, on that spread. Mad Lions. We're moving on to the next game. The rapid fire here. Gen G. Korean squad, they've won worlds before. This is a good organization playing GAM Esports. GAM Esports is from Vietnam. Vietnam does not have a great esports culture, but GAM made it through the gauntlet to get here. They're huge underdogs. This is massive. This is like New York Giants playing the Patriots in the Super Bowl. They're huge underdogs. We're actually taking GAM Esports plus 12 and a half. So, Again, they can lose this match, and they probably will, but I think they'll keep it close. And we're getting 12 and a half kills on this. We're going to take that all day long. Uh, Give me GAM Esports, 12 and a half. Then we go down to the next match that features the favorites for this whole thing to win the whole tournament, JD Gaming uh, out of China. They are the favorites to take home the World Championship title. They are playing... BDS Esports. BDS is another team that qualified from a smaller region, uh, but they have experience here, and they've been playing well leading up to this, but this is another uh, David versus Goliath matchup. Uh, we're rolling with BDS. They're gonna they're getting 11.5 kills here, plus 11.5, so we're taking the underdogs here. Again, not in an outright win, but we're taking them plus 11.5. <clears throat> then we're rolling to G2, which is Europe's top star top squad g2 has a great organization they got good players they're rolling against d plus which is another korean squad here but g2 we believe in you g2 and they're getting plus five and a half here we're taking that in the points we think this is going to be an outright win by g2 so not only they're covering but they could win this match we're taking the money line plus 130 but for the sake of the spread as well just to let you know we like the plus five and a half that G2 is getting against the 
D plus squad. Then we're rolling to the next match. NRG out of lowly North America. We're just not good at this, guys. We're not good at League of Legends. <laughs> it's a popular sport here, huge following, but we just don't perform on the world stage. And we, uh, NRG is going up against Weibo Gaming, who is an, uh, another uh, Chinese squad, and Weibo is playing well. And this is going to be Weibo all the way. Uh, we are going to, let me look up the odds here again. Uh, but Weibo is playing, they, they were like an upstart Chinese team. So they're not like your, they're not like your main, uh, organizations that are coming out of China, but Weibo is playing well. They're young, they're feisty, uh, they're minus 800 to win this match. So they're heavily favored here, but we're taking them to cover minus nine and a half. Weibo is going to come in here. They're going to slaughter NRG. So give us nine and a half, uh, the points. Weibo, minus nine and a half. That's what we're rolling with here. Then on to the seventh game, seventh out of eight, seven out of eight games here. Fnatic EU, uh, this is a European royalty. The Fnatic won the first world championships that was ever held for League of Legends. And then the rest of them had either been won by a Chinese team, a Korean team, uh, or a Taiwanese team. So, But Fnatic has a rich history. They're coming up against LNG Esports. But Fnatic is not going to get this done. LNG uh, is minus 150, uh, uh, minus 150 to win the match by eight and a half kills. So they're minus eight and a half. Give me LNG minus eight and a half on this match. Uh, we we love we love you, Fnatic, but it's not going to happen. They got their boy Reckless, who I think's been I think he's my age. He's still playing esports, still playing League of Legends. Uh, but give us LNG esports. And then the last game of the night or the middle of the night, however you're going to look at this. Uh, BLG versus KT Rolster. Uh, this is going to be a phenomenal matchup. Chinese team versus Korean team. This is our only Chinese matchup versus Korean matchup in the first round or in our first set of games. So this is going to be very close. This is an even. This is also just a toss-up. We don't know who's going to win. We're taking BLG here minus uh, a half a point. So this, they just got to win. They got to win with uh, over one kill and win the game. So put your money down on that. Uh, we are pumped for League of Legends. They, they, you know, th this sport's been going on heavily since, you know, 2010. You know, this is probably 13th year. I could be off a little bit there, but uh, it's it's a global sport. It's very popular. Has big followings, and now there's esports with it. So big shout out to uh, Bovada Esports. Uh, you know, it, it, I think you got to, I think you got to bet some Bitcoin on this or something in order to actually put your bets down, but, uh, recommend start an account there, get after it. You know, if you have any gambling problems, call, call the Tennessee red line. If you're in Tennessee or if you're in another state, they probably got some hotlines there to call, but, uh, you know, don't, don't put money down that you can't afford to lose. That's, that was Kurt Warner's tip last weekend watching NFL games. So I'll steal that line from Kurt Warner, but, uh, we recommend get, get, get in on the esports action. So those are our uh, a slate of Thursday games. Those are our picks. Let's see how we do. Join us next week. Come on back for another esports episode. Uh, don't forget to check out our normal NFL episode that drops on Fridays. Uh, but we're excited uh, to get into some esports. So thanks for joining the Benjamin Betts Esports Podcast Edition. Uh. Uh huh. Yeah. This has been a Rogue Media Network production. fantastic new podcast to tell you about bros foes and heroes it's the two of us looking into the world of comics breaking down some characters that you may have never heard of and some that are just absolutely ridiculous yeah so zach comes up with a character each time and uh, i go into it just completely blind i don't know who this person is or what their abilities are or anything and and basically i guess we kind of go over their origin story 
and just some of the ridiculous stuff that maybe especially golden age stuff. Oh, golden yeah. age stuff is always the best, and we will make sure to highlight all of the shenanigans and just absolute weirdness yeah. of everything. Yeah, that's right. So subscribe today and uh, follow us on Instagram at Bros Bros Heroes. And if you don't, I know where you live. Not really, but please subscribe. <laughs> Frozen, Frozen, Heroes, gonna tell you about Frozen, Frozen, Heroes, gonna tell you about... Hi, I'm Hank. You might remember me from a show called King of the Hill. Check out Ma, a King of the Hill rewatch podcast. These boys ain't right, but they are funny. Find the Ma podcast anywhere you get your podcasts or at roguemedianetwork.com. I tell you what. <laughs> <sighs>